It's 5.30 in the morning at Port Hacking. You don't really need to have an early start all the time. It just coincided with the tide we needed to go and pump some nippers out in the sand flats. The forecast for today was for rain and more rain, but there was a chance of some sunshine coming out in the afternoon. But don't be put off by the rain. It doesn't affect the fishing too much, and it keeps a lot of people off the water. I love walking the sand flats. Have a look at this flathead that was sitting here in the run out tide. Hope we catch him today. Before we head over to our favourite whiting grounds we thought we'd test our new underwater camera cases and see how they work underwater and of course try and catch some fish. Keep an eye on this flathead, how quickly it buries itself and becomes one of the environment. No wonder they're such good predators. Whiting live around sandy weedy beds and unfortunately so do the pickers like these small brim. So you've got to weed through all the smaller fish to get to these big whiting. So you've got to have a fair few amount of nippers with you. So it's time to test our luck and see if we can pull in a couple of big ones. Barney hooked onto this nice 44 centimetre whiting. They don't get much bigger than that. I have to have a look at the records, but I reckon it'd be pretty close, but it's a great size sand whiting. Anyone would be proud of that one. Good job, Barney. We did get a few others around the 25 and 28 centimetre mark as well, but they went back into the water. Unfortunately, the pickers got the best of us, and we still had a nice run in tide to fish out so we decided to go out and have a go at these kingfish. We were armed only with our whiting and brim rods and I hooked onto a 57 centimetre kingfish with my $10 eBay rod. It's got more plastic than a Barbie doll but with a bit of patience and a bit of editing I finally got it into the boat.